Dear students, in this module, we will look at how to predict the two prime structures and the strategies for undertaking this task. You know that two prime and the three prime structures of an RNA molecule can be determined experimentally. However, since the RNA molecule is extremely fragile and labile, we need to predict the structure of RNA molecules at times. Moreover, the experimental protocols are extremely expensive and costly. So therefore, if we have some efficient algorithms in order to determine the two prime structure and the three prime structures, they can be extremely useful. So in this model, we'll take a look at them. So towards the prediction of the two prime and three prime structures, we need to really know that besides the nucleotide uh, coupling for the complementary nucleotide, what other strategies we can undertake. So, given a one prime structure of an RNA molecule, that is its nucleotide sequence, we can create all the possible combinations of the complementary nucleotide couplings. But then one wonders how many combinations are possible. Of course, there will be more than one and you will have to choose between several of them. So, once you have these combinations made in front of you, A, U's, G's and C's or vice versa, you can evaluate the stability of the structures that are reported. So, once you have evaluated the st stability of the structures, then you can talk about which two prime structure is the most feasible. Here in, is an example for you. An RNA sequence is provided here. And as you can see in the uh, blue text, the U and A will couple since they are complementary. The second A and the second U will also couple. And the sequence that is there in the middle will take form of a loop. As you can see, this is essentially a hairpin loop, right? And at the stem of the hairpin, we have two pairs as indicated here. Now I will show you another possibility of two prime structure that can arise from the same sequence, but different in the two prime structure. Let's see. Here is your sequence that is the same as the previous one but this time we would like to couple this U with this A. So let's see the U is coupled with an A then besides U we have the G A U on this side that is not coupled with any other nucleotide and then this intermediary region the four nucleotides G U and GU. So it is another kind of hairpin loop but with one stem longer than the other. So now you have two possibilities of the two prime structures. So which one will you choose? Let me show you another possibility. The third possibility is given the same sequence as in the previous two cases. This time you would like to couple A with U. So you have A that is coupled with U and besides A there is U and in the eye of the hairpin you have G U, G U, G and besides A, U you have an A. So this is another hairpin with only one bond between A and U. So out of these three possible two prime structures, which one will you choose is a very interesting question. So we are left with two options. One, either to maximize the nucleotide coupling or if we have more than two possible structures with equal number of nucleotides that are coupled, how do we select? Should we look at instability of the RNA molecule? That's a question for you to think. 